Hey guys, this is Nintendo 14 here with more online races. This is part three of the Game Master Guys' holiday races. If you have yet to watch any of the previous two parts, go ahead and check that out. And then come back here for this because we're just going to be talking about... We're already going to be talking about what happened there. So, to avoid spoiler runes for those races, go back there. Okay, so with that being said, I'm joined by Super64134 and... Mario Sonic Forever. Gerald TG, how have your Christmases been? It's just like every year. It's a good time spending with family. Sweet. Mine's, a, mine's went pretty well. Got some good stuff, so I'm satisfied. And then as for me, yeah, I got some A-OK -okay stuff. Parents did a pretty good job at surprising me. Like, uh, I got some stuff that I didn't... I didn't really expect, but you know what? They uh, they put some, they put a decent amount of money in the gift set they gave me, so so I uh, I can't help but to uh, be excited to get those gifts. Yeah, that's good to hear. Shall we share what we all got for Christmas? Who's up first, me or Teach? Uh, you know I'll go first. Okay, okay so I'll I'll start with uh, the cheap stuff and then I'll work my way up to some of the more expensive stuff so so let's get this out the way i i got some clothes i got this uh shirt with a pocket on it nothing too special i got a, and i also got a coat some of these clothings that i got it's planned for this uh trip that i'm going to alaska sometime in the mid uh 2018 so like in the summer oh that's fun interesting what else did i get I'm trying to trying to recall most of the stuff here I think uh, the next thing I got was a new wallet, which uh, I think is the more expensive stuff. It's got like some artificial leather and stuff. And then the neat thing was is that my mom put in a twenty dollar bill inside the the wallet. Uh, <laughs> nice. Yeah, that, that was, was a good pretty. Idea. Yeah, that was a pretty neat uh, thing that my mom did right there. <laughs> Might have been my favorite thing about the whole Christmas deal. And then lastly, I think what might be i'm not sure if it's more expensive than the wallet but uh i got a i got a football jersey san diego chargers or no, not not san diego chargers anymore the los angeles chargers philip rivers number 17 jersey and it fits me quite well despite it being a large i'm usually a extra large guy it's pretty nice. good yeah so i think that's all I really got that I can name off the top of my head. Joe, do you want to tell the viewers what you got for Christmas? Alright, so from what I remember that I got, for the most part, it was just little, little like, nitpicks. Nothing too special. Just um, My mom was nice enough to get me two hoodies for Christmas. I, I definitely needed them because I've been using the same hoodies for a few years now. And as for other things, I got a few plushies. And just some money. That's pretty much it. Yeah, nowadays I think when we get older, and uh, especially if, if we're really reserved, then our parents don't have a real good idea on what we want for Christmas, so they just give us the money and just tell us, here, you go get whatever you want. Yeah, it's up to us at this point. Definitely. Yeah. We're big boys. We're, right. we're able to make decisions on our own on what we want. Not to be a kid again. So, TJ, do you got anything for Christmas, or did you get nothing? I bet you got something. Yeah, I got a couple of Christmas cards, a little bit of money. Picked up Mega Man Legacy Collection on my 3DS because it was on sale. And by sale, I mean a robbery. Six dollars! Wow. <laughs> Six dollars. <laughs> and Gerald got me a, um eShop card, which I used to get Rocket League. It's a very good game. Yeah, I can't wait to, I may or may not, throw up some Rocket League gameplay for next year. Because I, I well, think Colin. the three of us can make a pretty good team. We, we might need an extra guy to make like a four-man team, which uh, you usually have for for most uh, team-based games in the Switch library. Yeah. The, um, the standard for Rocket League is 3v3, but there is an option for 4v4. Oh, sweet. So that's nice. It's only three on three. Yeah, and 
in the game, there's actually more modes than I, than I expected there to be, to be quite honest. Okay. To be honest, I think 3-on-3 uh, three three might be the the like the, the balance on on how many players you can have per team. Like yeah. the, the thing with four on four, it's always you always it feels like you always have that that one person that you have trouble finding. And I think uh three people in a lot of situations I think is uh my more most ideal. go go to thing so Yeah. It's probably better to have the fourth person just stick by the goal. Just play goalie. Just have him as extra. Yeah, they yeah. call the they call the four v four mode uh, chaos mode because so many people are on. <laughs> yeah, got those two extra car guys. Makes things havoc, especially when the games are you can already pull off a lot of cool stuff and make the jankiest of goals. Right. Okay. <laughs> it's fun. I like to add more to the. The, the whole what you got for Christmas thing. Uh, I would have gotten more stuff for Christmas if it weren't for my job to make me able to buy stuff early. So leading up to Christmas, I've been getting stuff that was on my mind to, to buy that I could have gotten for Christmas. So I've gotten most of that stuff early. That's not a bad idea. Yeah. yeah. But it kind of spoils the Christmas fun, you know? Yeah. That is true. true. But you know what, we're, you know, you just save that for, for, uh, like say if you're a kid, you'd, you'd uh, want to, you know, save all that stuff for, you know, when you're a kid. But when you're a grown up, then, you know, you're over the, the whole wait until Christmas stuff. So you just get stuff on, on your own time and all that. I'm still in the, um, a little like gate gateway before like actually becoming a full on adult, so more ways than one I still treat Christmas as like a little side thing. I still get excited for it, even though I know for a fact it's not as, as exciting as it used to be. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. I think for me for me at this point, I treat Christmas like a like the ultimate way to get together with your family. Especially yeah. when your parents are guaranteed to be off at work. True. Then again, you could say the Thanks, same man. thing about a couple other holidays like Thanksgiving and uh, what other ones are there? You think uh, Fourth of July? You'd you yeah. have your parents out for yeah, that? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, Christmas has a special thing where where uh, you got the presents. So so that's a uh, it has Christmas has this nice curve to the other as opposed to other holidays because uh, your parents give you gifts. Yeah, and also it's freezing cold, so everybody's pretty much stuck in the house together. <laughs> but then again, you could say the it's same thing about work. Thanksgiving, because because uh, instead of gifts, you have food and football. Yeah. And Christmas is presents and basketball. Yeah. Yeah, good point there. There's and presents. Three, is there three, a total of three basketball games during Christmas? Uh, this this Christmas there were five. Hmm. Five. Is it was it always five? Uh, I think it depends. It changes every year, but it's around five or six usually. Okay. As far as I remember. Hmm, I think was, cool. Since we're all but done with the the Christmas section, uh, while well, me and you, Gerald, are gonna zigzag. Right past the start finish line. Do you want to go over the New Year's resolution? I don't hey, really have it? a New Year's resolution. I'm just, I'm just gonna res resonate as I go. Uh, I do have one. It's very minor, but I hope uh, the upcoming year to get out and about more, more so because usually I'm just all clogged up in my house, not really doing anything, just hanging out. Yeah. So I just wish to just go outside more, at least. Be like, more independent. Yeah, just spend more time with family and such, because this year I haven't really been most, the most social person in the world. Yeah, I've been there last year. My whole 2016 was just that. Minus uh, not being able to play that many games, because uh, you know, I didn't want to 
I didn't want to use uh, my parents' money. I wanted to like try and earn the games that I play. Yeah. Yeah. I was I was great to be able to do that for this year. Yeah, but things have changed. Matter of fact, if, if I were to sum up 2017 in just two words, I'd say mission accomplished. Because if you were to, for me, if I were to reflect back on the whole 2017, it's uh, I've been able to finally get my job, finally be able to to afford my own with my own money. Uh, Nintendo Switch, and, uh, yeah, and plenty of other stuff. So, it's good stuff. so for me, it's been a big leap uh, in 2017. Much so than any of the other years. So I'm going to look back on 2017 and, you know, be really proud about. And uh, be, you know, be that one year that, you know, I'm not going to be upset over because it didn't turn out the way I wanted it to. You know, like uh, 2015 or 2016. Mm-hmm. You know, something like that, so... It's good to know that we have, you know, that one year that, you know, we can be proud of, upon. Because if it, I don't know if it's just me or not, but I get a little tired on, on the, you know, hearing that, oh, this year is garbage. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't like that. For the most part, people just say that because of all the stuff that happens. Like, all the disaster events and such. But, like, it happens every year. So, like, what, what makes this year any different than the rest? Yeah. Mainly, you now, should, rather than see, you know, all the stuff that, all the bad stuff that happens every year, just look at what the stuff, look at all the stuff that you did in that one year. Yeah, just, just look at the positives. Yeah, just look, 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 look back at all the good things that happened in your life. Rather, look at how many, how much positive stuff has happened in that year, rather than, you know, how much more negative stuff is in that one year. So, like, say... You know, I didn't have too many positive things to say about, uh, like, 2016 or maybe the end of 2015. I had a lot of positive stuff to say in 2017. That was a heck of a good year for gaming, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah I had a pretty good 2017, too. Especially the the platforming side for in 2017. Heck yeah. Mario Odyssey, Cuphead, Crash Bandicoot is back. Hat in time. A hat in that time. It's cool. Yeah. It's a lot of good games this year. Bubsy. Just to throw <laughs> no, an extra see. name. No. <laughs> Wooly straight back. Yeah, it wants it wants its uh, fair share of the of the platforming renaissance. Once it's part of the glory. Okay, so before I forget, let's just quickly talk about the gameplay since we've kind of kind of forgot about that the whole time. So. I'll give you guys a quick recap. TJ has been coasting in the front for for a consistent amount of time, so he's uh, currently the points leader, leading into the final race on Rainbow Road. And I don't think uh, uh, the one Mario Circuit race that we had, that was the only mistake track that we've had, so I think all four of the, the tracks for this Grand Prix are on schedule. At the blame Tom for the... Yeah, that was part two. And then, uh, also, uh, the closest to TJ, I forget who it was. I don't think it's, it's not me, because I'm, I'm, like, uh, trying to claw my way back into the top three. Which is what I'm always not. like, uh, when I'm not, uh, leading this stuff. So, I imagine it's either gonna be John or maybe you, Gerald, for this, uh, for this Grand Prix challenging TJ. I remember I just blew it. This race is behind the entire time. Oh, uh, yeah. Then Jay wasn't having, like, the best of the times in his races, so... He's coming up. I was already, like, second to for last, me, uh, so I decided, you know what? For me, this Grand Prix, I've been, you know, trying to find a way to stay out of trouble and and just try to avoid getting hit by items, but you know, I didn't do too too good job on that. And so I pretty much had to soak up a lot of hits... And and uh, like with my points race, you know, claw for every position I can get. I literally backed up just for Jay, just for him. <laughs> That's on your side. On my side, that didn't really show. So TJ takes it. Actually, uh, Jeremy was the yeah. closest to you, TJ, for that Grand Prix. So I, I, because of that move, Gerald, that 
made you fall back an extra spot. Me and you were able to tie for that third place spot in the Grand Prix. Yeah, we all won a Grand Prix during this session. Oh, before we forget, TJ, we forgot your uh, New Year's resolution. My New Year's resolution. I want to choose... Uh, I want to have a final decision on what I'm going to major in in college and just beat some more games. I'm going to try to beat Wind Waker. Beat a Zelda game. Time. Yeah, I'm going to try to beat a Zelda game next year. That's my goal for 2018. Because I haven't beaten one yet for because of so many circumstances. But yeah, that's my goal. You know, now that I've listened to yours, I think I might have a resolution on my own of my own. Which might be just do stuff on my own terms. Last year I was in, well, just in terms for, for my YouTube channel. Because last year right. I wasn't really able to do that because I scheduled, you know, what I was going to do for 2017 for my channel at the very uh -huh. beginning, you know, with the year of Mario Kart. But for uh -huh. 2018, I, I plan on making plenty of videos that are not going to have any timetables. They're just going to come out when they're done. That's your own they're going to be on, yeah, they're going to be whatever I, I'm going I'm to upload whatever I feel like. That's good to know. I think, uh, I think uh, the videos will be much better, knowing that uh, I'm not going to force myself to make certain videos. I'm going to make videos purely out of, of the fun of making it. It's a better way to go about it. Yeah. Good resolution. Sure will. And uh, hope that uh, you know, that's going to be the end result for next year on my channel. Because that's it for all the videos that I have for 2017. Gerald, TJ, thank you for, for providing just an awesome 2017 for me. And I hope I did the same for you guys. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. But uh, don't worry about the Mario Kart. We, I still have. I'm still gonna have plenty of Mario Kart content on this channel because it's probably my favorite game to play, especially for Uno. this channel. And yeah, we'll probably fit in some Uno when we, when we can uh, get Being it to work. The hard part is trying to get in with your. Yeah, friend. there's there's no friend join and friend thing so we gotta do stuff the the tougher way which is just hope that we join the same room so uh we're just rambling on here on on stuff that we could do for 2018 so hope you guys have a fantastic new year's and we'll see you in 2018 calling it a year bye have a good one